Sanderson Pens Podcast, episode 336 for Thursday, February 13th. This is Brian. And this is Steph. And Steph is here for the second week in a row. On fire. Woo. Woo. All right. Um, so, sorry I'm laughing. Um, this joke is just so good, I have to laugh. Two hats are hanging out on a hat tree. What does one say to the other? Hmm. Hats off to you? You stay here, I'll go on ahead. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know whether to groan or laugh. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's, like that's that. improvement. That's good. So, anyway, this week, uh, moving right along, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. We got a ton yes. of pens here. I don't know how many we got here. Probably 50 pens here, maybe? Yes. Um, go over everyone in excruciating detail. Whew, three hours later. Um, Sailor, Lucky Charm, in the house. I have one too. Um, Pro Gear, you've got the Slim. Yes, I have the Slim with the 14 karat nib. And this is the uh, the large, which has the 21 karat nib. And they've got that pretty uh, tritone nib. You call yeah, it. tritone, bicolor. Mm-hmm. I call it tri, but it's, it's really a bicolor nib. So it's rhodium within gold and then rhodium. Two different colors, but three different slots. So. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. And, if, and on the slim, they don't make that nib. They used to make it on the Pro Gear Two, um, but they don't really make that pen much anymore. So you really, it's a, if you want to, if you like that nib on a Pro Gear Slim, you can't really get it that nib anywhere else. I, this is my favorite color of Sailor Nib because yep. it looks good with all the different inks. Yeah. It matches with everything. Mm-hmm. And which, we did it on the Peacock, so. Yeah, it it reminds me of my pan. Yeah, but this is, a, this is a beautiful, beautiful pen. It is very similar in color to the Peacock. Uh, rhodium trim, of course. And uh, just a really, really good looking pen. So these are in stock. Mm-hmm. Ready to go. They're gorgeous. So Even al- prettier in real life than they were in the pictures, yeah. I think. Um, and along with that, uh, Angel's Delight. Um, I got a call last week, said there's going to be a few more coming in. So uh, if Angel's Delight was, uh, if you were... Short getting that. Uh, we're getting a few back in uh, in about a week, a week. So it's got that same same nib on it. Super pretty. I like I like the cocktail series because it's a little funky. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. White cap, and then it's got that uh, kind of a two tone. The section is a darker color than the barrel, and uh, so that's kind of a neat uh, neat pen. And that's coming in. Uh, I think the week of the seventeenth. That's going to be here. So. And there's only a few left, so you can sign up for the back in stock. And uh, if, when it comes in, I recommend if it's something you want, you better you better get it because it's there's not going to be any more. Yeah, so. Back in stocks are a very good idea with this one. Yeah. When it's gone, it's gone. It's a good Valentine's Day yeah. pen too. Oh yeah, that's a great mm-hmm. idea. On a, on a side note, since today is the day before Valentine's Day, huh. if this is you remind, remembering, oh crap, Valentine's Day, great idea. Get a Val- uh, Anderson Pen's gift card. Oh yeah, you can there. Do that. You buy it, it's there right away. Yeah. You don't have to wait for shipping or anything, so it's perfect for... We can do it We can do it online, or we also have a version we can do in the store, too. So if, uh, if you're local to... It, and it applies to either the Chicago store or the Appleton store, so you can buy one at either location. Uh, but there's there's one for online, there's one for in-store, so... So if you buy it online, it's good online. Right. But if you buy it in-store, it's, it's good... It's good in the store. In-store at yeah. either store. Yes. But those are two yep. separate systems. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I gotta get Lisa something. The perfect last minute Valentine's gift. Uh, maybe it could be a platinum Kiridas, which Ooh. we don't have yet, but they're going to be coming very soon. I cannot uh, wait to click them. The retractable, the new retractable platinum. Um, I don't want to call it the vanishing point, but it's the first competitor really we've had to a vanishing point in a long time. And it's clicky. Because it's clicky, yeah. It I'm going to make such a nuisance of myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get any work done. Uh, I'm interested to see how the clip comes off. So apparently there's a tool. Yeah. And then you can take the clip off if you don't like the clip. Now, I don't know how much of a problem it's going to be for people because that clip looks kind of smaller and it's mm-hmm. set back further. So I think Interesting. if you have kind of the, the, the grip where your, your, your forefinger goes over the front maybe, mm-hmm. I don't think it's going to be that much of a 
deal, but if you want, you can take the clip off. Yeah. So so maybe if you if you had that like is it is that an overrider grip? If you if your hand uh, kind of I guess I don't know what you call that, but yeah, yeah. If, if that would have been really a problem for you with the vanishing point, yeah, maybe. it would be. And now maybe less so with the Kiridos. You, 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 you can might take be able to get a, you could you could leave it on maybe, and that yeah. might even work. So I'm I'm just curious to see how it's gonna it's gonna work for uh, different hand hand styles. So I think it'll be. It should it should be really fun to get get it in our hands and take a look yeah. at it. You know, yeah. I've studied all of the pictures to try to get a sense yeah. of what you it's going to be like. We'll see. We'll see. I got to hold it in my hand first. <laughs> see what see how satisfying that click is. Really, there are no non satisfying pen clicks. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think best. I think they're going to look. I think obviously, like most pens, are going to look better in person. Um, blue or green is the colors that I'm thinking. Yeah, so. the green the green seems to be popular, winning yeah. so far. Yeah. It's our best seller. So you can pre-order those, and uh, when they come in, we'll ship them out. So they'll be here soon. Yes, any uh, minute now. Uh, speaking about here and gone, uh, and coming soon, uh, Retro 51. So we've got a couple of Retro yes. 51 things. The Leap, uh, good idea. You actually brought this up. We should mention this. Yes, Leap came. <laughs> it was here. And it was gone in 15 minutes, quite yes. literally 15 minutes. Yes, so, I think I think um, we put it up at like nine o'clock. It was sold out well before 9:30. Yes. yes so, yeah, so if you missed it, really sorry. It was a super competitive rush to get to that that pen. Yeah, there were we, not very many of them. Like like most of the 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 poppers, they they say okay, we'll send in what you want, and you never get what you ask for. So you always ask for more so that you get try to get what you want. Mm -hmm. uh, and we got less than less than half, a third maybe of what we what we actually ordered. Yeah, we had a so, handful. In fact, Lisa got some in and uh, she was she had one customer who bought one and then the rest of them we shipped out and they were gone. Oh, so, that's right. She reserved a couple for herself mm -hmm, to sell mm -hmm, in the store yep. for, for those, those so, in Chicago. We always try to get them, get them for Chicago too. So Leap is here and gone and there are no more. Um, and Let just, that be a lesson to you yeah. if you missed it out. Uh, there were only 888, uh, and I, I don't think I don't think these went any faster because of what's going on with retro. I just think this is a, another classic case of the poppers are just not enough. It's a popular design, so. Uh, but there are going to be more poppers coming out. So the rumor has uh, George told me I think maybe one a month for the next couple months. So perfect. We'll perfect. have some more. And speaking of which, the new retro 51. Dun, well, it's not new, I guess, but the Chicago. It's back. Well, it's going to be back. Mm -hmm. um, on its way back. It's on its way back. Expected uh, sometime this summer. Uh, we're doing pre-orders on that, and that's going to be pretty much the last run of the Chicago. And so if you missed out the first time, now you can uh, now you can grab it, and uh, we'll have it. And, of course, we'll have it in, in the store in Chicago, too. So. Yes. Oh, it's such a pretty pen, I think. I think I might have to pick one up this time I around. Think you, you know, it goes, I did, in, it I goes did in the dark. The first time. Does it? Yes. What? Yes. How did I not know this before? You know, we actually discovered this when oh we were goodness, in the Chicago does. store, and uh, Retro was there, and they said, oh, yeah, by the way, it glows in the dark. And nobody ever told us that. We never asked for that spec, but it glows in the dark. Yeah, I know. I know. What? So it's like the Chicago skyline at night. At with night, all the yeah. Little During the day, at day. That's yeah. really cool. And of course, you get the little AP logo down. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are. Our Easter it, egg over here. In that little we won't tiny tell you building. where it is. It's, You'll have to find it for yourself. It's probably, probably very proximity and sized for that to the uh, Sears Tower to the Palmer House building. Oh. So. Anyway, those are uh, those are going to be oh, back in stock. You can uh, pre-order them now. And uh, they'll be in sometime this summer. Uh -huh. So, um, we have more pens. We have a lot yes. of pens here. Holy wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are a couple of assorted retros still in stock in the oh, store. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. I know I'm there's, sorry. I know there's a, a Vega that from the Smithsonian Vega. series. Oh, that's such a pretty pen. It is. Kiss. Somebody has to buy it quick before I do. Uh, the Sherman Tank is nice. Yeah, those that's, big shots are a good size. It has got that cool ribbed texture on it. We were looking at that yesterday. Um, so, yeah, we've got, um, we've got uh, a bunch of other retros. Uh, in stock, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll try to keep them in stock as long as they have them. Uh, we should mention that uh, Retro is still making some pens. So um, as we find out certain pens are being discontinued, we're going to remove them from the website. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes there are pens that are maybe just back ordered, which means we might actually see them. But 
we can't be too sure. Yeah. So if there's something you've got your eye on, it's a good idea to sign up for a back in stock mm -hmm. notification, whether or not, you know, if it's out of stock, yeah. it might not come back, but it might also come back. So yeah. if you've got your name in there, then we'll keep you posted. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know. I know George was saying that, uh, uh, they were going to discontinue some of the pens that require very large minimums. So mm -hmm. I don't know what I don't know which pens those are, but if it had a reasonable minimum, you know, they may have already reordered restock. So, um, so we've got some good point, and uh, and there we go. Yeah. All right. So how do you want to do this? Oh boy. Recent finds. We so last week was I'll, I'll start with this. Mm -hmm. Last week was a pretty good week. Uh, I bought a bunch of pens in store, and some of these are really great, and some of these are actually. They may actually be gone by now because they're in the mailer on Tuesday. So, but I don't know, not these, but these here. There's yes. like a huge pile of stuff here. We've got all of these and a lot of Parker's sonnet. So let's start with I guess right here. We've got Parker sonnet roller balls, um, roller ball. I guess you should say matte silver gold trim. Really, really kind of a neat. Uh, I like the sonnet. It's a nice pen. You've got you've it's got, got a good the, size. The best I've got, one there. Yeah, I've got a fountain pen. I think is this a yep. gold nib? Oh yeah, that's 18 an eighteen karat, karat 18 nib. Eighteen karat nib sonnet. Fantastic. Sterling silver Cizelay pattern. Yeah, that's really really nice. That's a nice. I want to write's nice too. And then I think that it, it's from like a fashion perspective. I feel like it it's very very like next week. It's solid. Yeah, it's really. Um, matching ballpoint, which is really kind of neat. And, and all these, a lot of these came with boxes. Uh, this one, blue marble, sonnet, mechanical pencil. It's hard um, to hard to see in yeah, photographs, see. Looks, but in looks person, black, goodness, yeah. that's a gorgeous pattern. And this has one of those cool mechanisms where I always like mechanical pencils that where you, you twist it and it's got a spring and, it, and it, the lead comes out that way. Yeah, and it's, it's kind really of easy to get it to go back in yeah, too. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Played with it a little bit during oh, photography and it's nice. Some cool stuff here, Mont Blanc. Old nice, school Mont Blanc. Yeah, this is, what is this, about 80s maybe? Nice fountain yeah. pen. Yeah, it's got good lines and yeah. it's also a Mont Blanc, so if you want to be Mont able Blanc, to say, yeah. I own a Mont Blanc. And uh, it's kind of budget too because there's a little crack in the cap way at the top by the clip. Yeah, but the you can't see it's it at all, but. Great. This one, do you know what this is called? That is a lever. Action clip lever clip action. Clip lever ball action ball ballpoint. Ball ball so they have this little lever on the clip here, and you flip it down, and then it, the the refill pops out. And it also works if you put this in your pocket. When you get your your shirt, will hit that and will trip it, and it will cause the the ballpoint to go up. So you don't actually no pocket protector no required. Pocket protector required. Yeah. And what's cool about this is we actually got now this takes a very specific refill. Um, that they don't make anymore. This actually comes with three working refills. So, whew. yes, um, that would be stressful. The only other refill that I know that fits this is also discontinued is the Omos. Uh, there's you can use an Omos ballpoint refill to to retrofit it, but uh, yeah, so three those, working those refills. Three working refills will keep you keep you held over until you can well, find an Omos or a vintage Mont Blanc refill. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next up, Parker. Do you know what model this is? That is, oh, oh, we've been over this. Let me see the clip. It's a 45. It's a 75. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 45 plus 30. <laughs> Parker 75, uh, Sterling Silver, Cizale. Uh This is a French model, which is kind of cool. It is uh, La French? La France, yes. Uh -huh. um, C'est très bon. And bon uh, a matching cap actuated ballpoint. That's really cool. Yeah. I like that. Most of the time and you see ones, them. They have a little bit more texture yes, than the other yeah, ones. So yeah, it's makes chiseled it nice in. to hold. Mm -hmm. Then there's a button actuated version of the ballpoint. That's pretty common. Uh, what else we got? Also, what is this here? These guys on guard. Uh, it's just a weird little thing. You, you know, we've got pencil, pencil fans. Uh, what do these look like? These are actually. They're like vintage black wings. They are. Basically. They're Eberhard like, Faber Van Dykes. Come off just like yeah. a black wing. Your eraser comes out, and the black wing eraser fits in there too. Sweet. Cool. Just a cute little. I don't know. This stuff just walks in the door. It's really cool. That's it's a fun curiosity. Yeah. I didn't know they existed. Moving right along. A couple Esther books this week. We got Jays. This little guy's an SJ. So we got gray and black. So those are gonna be coming up. Nice patterns. Um, oh my god! I was gonna say last but not least, but there's three mm -hmm. more. Uh, we got this nice Schaefer Jade uh, yes. balance. Mm -hmm. So, 
Kind of a cool pen. I love that taper. Yeah, that's nice. all about those tapered pens. It's really nice. It's got the it's got the, the hump clip on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, you had you had one of these last week. Yes. What's the color on that? Is Do you that remember? oh goodness? <laughs> I want to say beige because it, well, it is you you could beige, be right, but that's probably it's, not what Parker calls. Nobody it. sells a pen called beige. Is that? <laughs> Is that against the rules? <laughs> I, think there, it's, I just don't think it's going to sell if it's called un, beige. Unwritten rule against beige pens? I don't buy a beige pen, but I'm maybe I'm weird. Do you know what model this is? This is a 51. That is correct. It is a 51. All right. I got something you got today. That one. Um, that's Coco. <laughs> oh, there we go. That Cocoa. is that is a better word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So set in the box. It's such a nice color. Yeah. And this has one of these cap actuated, but... Uh, Pencils with the clutch in it. Uh, kind of neat. Yes. You one of my have... one of my favorite Parker Fifty One colors. I don't know why. It's just so unique. Yeah, it's it's lighter than the other ones, which merely makes it stand out. Mm -hmm. If you've got lighter a tray color, of, yeah. of all the different colors of Parker Fifty Ones, that's the one that my eye always yeah. goes to first. All right, I think this is last but not least. Oh yeah, that uh, one. Mont Blanc. I believe this is a noblesse fountain pen. Look at that cool nib. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Mm. Got and that long taper on it. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it's and that's a uh, medium, right? This one, yeah, German sure looks like medium. a medium. Yeah, it's. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can see it from way out here. Uh, Cartridge converter, um, very slim. Uh, I tried to give it to Lisa, but she didn't want it. So, but uh, anyway, that's that, that just walked through the door um, this week, and uh, this stuff is going to sh uh, show up on the the website. Um, and like I say, some of this may be gone because it was in the Tuesday mailer. So. If you want to be first to see some of this stuff, make sure you sign up for the mailer, which is located at the bottom of every page on the website. Yes, and, so. and it's full of pretty eye candy. It is. Um, speaking of vintage, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, let's um, reorganize here. We got going on this week, or actually next week, um, big unrestored event in Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going down, Lisa and I are playing uh, Switch for the week. She's coming up here, I'm going there. I am bringing in excess of four or five hundred uh, vintage pens unrestored. If we can do this. Unrestored. Unrestored. Um, but there's some really great stuff. So I, I, this last week, last week we talked about some of them, and this past week I've been, I'm, I'm still going and I'm still finding more cool pens. Um, I mean, just trays of Schaefer touchdowns. Yeah. Is that a 51 there? This is indeed. This is a 51 vacuumatic. Oh. Um, so it's, you know, some of these are parts, some of these are complete. Uh, most of them are fairly complete. What do you and mean? And this got one, here? I have no idea. I was trying to figure out what Isn't it that is. Isn't that cute? That's a it's... Waterman's Lady Patricia. Oh, always. And it I comes always. comes with the matching pencil. Mm -hmm. Always love the Waterman's. Yeah. Always. Yeah, so there are some nice, nice Waterman's in here and some smaller ones or some that have uh, semi-flexible nibs. It's got a teeny tiny little clip. I know. Isn't that cute? Me and tiny things. Parker 61, first year, with the first year uh, logo on the cap. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I've never seen one of those before. Yeah, first edition. Huh. Uh, we've got, uh, I've got a Parker T1 ball, uh, this is a mechanical pencil, actually. Parker T1 mechanical pencil. Um, what else have we got? This is this like a cool. tiny smattering. This is, yeah, this is got. What crazy are these guys? stuff. Oh, those are it's cool. Gonna... So those are diamond, uh, diamond metals, which were a really kind of a nice... Third tier brand. Um, you've got that a jade. One. Yeah, that one looks like it's all there. We've got a lapis, gold nibs. Um, they made a decent pen. Here's another one. A little bit bigger in jade. Yeah. This looks like, I mean, I'm, I'm learning new things some? just taking, taking a gander at this. It seems like this would be a good event to go to if you are yeah. interested in learning more about vintage. Yeah, absolutely, event, absolutely. You get the chance to see things that maybe aren't the stereotypical, like mm -hmm. Parker 51s and Waterman yeah. Flex nibs, you know, the yeah. stuff that everybody has seen. This is a chance to get a little, d dig a little deeper. Well, we'll have some of that stuff too, but, yes. uh, you know, like here's a, here's a really cool Morrison set, the fountain pen and pencil. It's really a weird pen, but it's got a oh. cool lever. Um, I like that section. It's got a crazy, crazy thick taper on it. It closes flush, which is really cool. So the cap is flush with the barrel. So uh, there's a lot of cool things. Eclipses, I've got some hard rubber pens, uh, Waterman 100 year, I've got some wall uh, signatures, Ooh. you know. So a lot, a lot of stuff. And I, I'm, I'm digging more each day. 
Um, this is so modern for a vintage yeah, pen. Yeah, yeah, hundred year, hundred year Waterman, hundred year pen. That clear end cap reminds mm -hmm. me of a sailor, but yeah. super interesting. I don't think I've ever held one of these in my hands yeah. before. So cool stuff. Uh, so in addition to the pens, I'll have four, five hundred or more pens. Uh, I'll have some restored pens. I've got some some snorkels, some fifty ones, uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, pencils. I will have repair supplies. Sacks, loops, talc, shellac, all that stuff, uh, section pliers, hemostats, all the stuff that you're going to need. Uh, so come down and see me. So that we're going to do that next week, uh, Monday through Saturday. Yes, you and Lisa are switching places. We are. She's not going to be there. So uh, that'll be February 17th through the Saturday the 22nd. And then we're going to do it again here in Appleton the following week. So Monday, February 24th through what is that the 29th saturday the 29th yeah yeah yep. monday through saturday next week and the week after so and uh, and just just in case uh, you folks in appleton think you're you're going to get the bum end of the deal because chicago is going to get first dibs i have a bunch of stuff i can't even take to chicago there you go so yeah. some cool ink bottles and some other cool sets and things like that that are just too big and bulky so uh and i'm hoping to get some more things um in time for uh appleton so uh, what else about Chicago? We got a couple things that we do regularly in Chicago. Yes, there are free ink samples. Those are available Friday through Monday. Yep. With any okay. purchase, you just can pick up a, a free ink sample to bring home. I don't even know what my ink is going to be next week. Oh yeah, we that's know? right. Did we, we to decide? Be decided? We didn't decide. Okay. I think I think it's up to you. It's up to me. Mm -hmm. Why am I in charge? No pressure. No pressure. Okay, so uh, free ink right samples one. Friday through Monday. Did you say free ink samples or free Friday fill-up? I, th I said free ink samples. You said free ink that's samples. That's a nice I'm segue sorry. Yes. into Friday fill-ups. Free ink samples with purchase, mm -hmm. yep. Yes, so if you want to, we also sample ink every week. Yeah, so bring we have a bottle, in. and Lisa puts a bottle out, and then if you want, you can come in and bring your pan and fill it up. Um, you know, try to have it as clean as possible, emptied out of ink. That would be great. Um, but we, So we do that uh, on Fridays and uh, on Saturdays, uh, Pen Spa Saturday. So Yeah, which is... Fantastic for cool. those of us who you know would rather have somebody else clean our pens. Yeah, yeah. Try to try to get the ink out so we don't uh, you know go through the the water too quickly. But uh, do you guys have a sink there? We don't have a sink. But that explains. We have we have an ultrasonic, and then we have a couple of jugs of water that we can you know uh, we can drain out uh, at the end of the day. So we don't have easy access to water, but we have water and uh, uh, and the so ultrasonic. Even if you like Sneak into the the bathrooms at the Palmer House or yep. something. Just you know, flush your pen out real yep. quick, yep. just just to keep the ultrasonics happy yep. for a little while longer. So yeah, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, like I say, I'm going to be there. Actually, I'm leaving tomorrow, and I'm going to be there for uh, most of the next of the week uh, through Saturday. And then I get back. Um, but uh, and we get to see Lisa for Lisa a little while here over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that'll be really exciting. Uh, if you are in town, stop by and say hi. She'll yes. be at the store usually in the will, afternoons. She will love to see you. So she would. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, Did we hit everything? Did we hit, we touched every pen just about here. I, basically, 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 curiosity got the better of me. Except for this one. This one's really cool. And if you don't buy it, I'm going to keep this one because this is killer. It's a Waterman Ooh. gold filled cap. Look at that. Well, the nib That's, is dirty, but well, look at that lined gold filled cap. Anyway, I, 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 I digress. That oh, was yeah. me too. I like this that one. one. Is this ebonite? It's modeled hard rubber. Yeah. Oh. Red and black, big oversize, keen yep. 14 karat nib. Mm -hmm. It's a great pen. Uh, yeah, that's a good size. All right, we can stop anytime we want. <laughs> She's in training. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's it for this week. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other cool stuff. Right, you can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. We've got a store here in Appleton. We've also got a shirt store in Chicago, of course, on yes. the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton, right inside the loop. And the website is, uh, what is it, uh, chicago.andersonpens.com? Yes. And uh, like this video. Like oh, yes. this video and subscribe to this. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.